Neely didn't sit too well with you, I'm sure, although he sat well for Steve Casper. If I could have reached through and grabbed that Steve Casper through television, I'd been up for murder. Of course, you only get two, murder, two years for murder in Canada. Anyhow, I'd be out two years. I'd have taken and I'd have grabbed him. I tell you to humiliate a guy like that. If you don't want to dress him and put him in the press box, that's okay. But to have him sit there time after time after time. Now, wait a minute. We're talking, we're talking, a, not Scotty Bowman here, you know. We're talking about a guy that's had the, this guy here now, Stevie Casper, has the worst record of any Boston coach in the last 25 years. My only uh, coach of the year in the Boston Bruin record's going good. Brian Sutter last year was on, had 50, in 57 games, he was on the march to 114 points, and he, basically the same team, and he got fired. I want to see what this guy got to do. First of all, we got a little clip right, we'd like to show right now of Cam sitting, for you people that didn't see it, well, watch Cam, this guy's a 50 goal scorer, go ahead, roll it. Now look at him sitting there, him and Stevens, Stevens family back in Boston watching this. Here's a guy that give his life, blood, and everything, knee, two years he works. And what does this guy do? He does this. I tell you something, folks, this is a twit of all time. He, I said a couple of years ago he had a con Now I said at the end, I bet somebody Cam would come in and congratulate. And the guy said, no way. He didn't go in a tantrum and all that. Watch this. Watch him. There's Cam there. Talk about a guy, I'll tell you, boy. There's class all over. I'll tell you that right now. This is in a tie in Toronto uh, the other night, Wednesday night, and they had a press conference after the game, and you want to show that clip? I want to show, just to, to show you, I want to just to show you how he, this, he reacted to this. I've never seen, just a minute, I've never seen a humiliation like this in my life before in any sports. The only thing that comes close is what Jacques Lemaire did to Lafleur, benching him all the time. But not to give him a chance. Plus, it was a 4-4 tie. You had $5 million sitting on the bench. And you know what? Uh, Brian Sutter got fired. This guy has still got his job. That tells me something, what he's doing with well, that. he had to have support from upstairs. I guess know? he did. And how he keeps his job is beyond me. Watch this little clip here we got with tears in his eyes. If this doesn't put tears in your eyes, I don't know what will. Go ahead. <clears throat> well, first of all, if he thinks uh, that um, you know, I'm not good enough to play on this team to help the team win, keep, help the team win hockey games, then, you know, that's, that's his decision and his opinion. But, uh, you know, I know that uh, my opinion doesn't mean much to him, but uh, that was a pretty, uh, that was a pretty Bush League way about going, <coughs> going to do something. There you, there you go. You see him like that. I, I got tears in my eyes, folks. If you coaches out there think you're doing something, benching the star for the end like that, never saw anything like that, my love. I love that guy. Stevie, Stevie Casper is a twit. He was a twit when he played. The only thing he ever did was, was check Gretzky, and that was his claim to fame. He's a twit now, and he'll always be a twit. Well, I'm not blaming Stevie. I'm blaming the guy that fired you. And in both cases, uh, he's got Steve Casper and Don Cherry looking a little harried. Coach's Corner and Wilson Hockey Night in Canada on CBC. He kind of reminds me of you, twit. You know what I mean? Well,